For this tutorial you will need your selected yarn. I'm using King Cole Big Value Chunky. This recommends a 6mm hook but I'm actually going to go down to a 5.5mm just to play around with the sizing a little. You will need a pair of scissors and a darning needle to sew in your ends. You will actually find the written instructions for this particular pattern in issue 8 of Your Crochet and Knitting magazine. Your Crochet and Knitting magazine is a brand new kit magazine which is full of lots and lots of different crochet and knitting patterns including toys, blankets, home decor, baby makes, all different things. Issue 8 goes on sale from the 25th of April in all UK supermarkets. I will leave a link in the description box below so that you can go and check it out. So as always I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can go to the blog post and I'll write out all the information for this yarn and which colours are associated to which. So go ahead and check that out. We're going to go ahead and take our colour A and start with round one. So to do round one of the teddy square what you're going to do is start off with a magic circle. So for this you're going to take the loose end and hold it with your thumb over your fingers. Take the other end, wrap around your fingers, and then wrap around the back with an X, like so. Take your crochet hook, go under the first loop, grab the second loop, and twist your hook. You can then go ahead and take off your fingers and pinch the yarn like so, and chain one to start off your magic circle. We're then going to chain two more and then this is going to count as a treble crochet. So remember I'm talking in UK terms, in the US this is known as a double crochet. Your chain three throughout the whole of the work will class as a treble. Now I'm going to go ahead and do another 11 trebles into this centre circle. So yarn over, insert into the circle, yarn over, pull through, you'll have three loops of, on the hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops and yarn over, pull through the next two loops. You can go ahead and pull on your loose end and it just cinches in that centre circle as you're working round and you can go ahead and pull those trebles around as you're working. So yarn over, insert into the centre circle, yarn over, pull through, you'll have three loops on the hook yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So that's two. I'm going to cinch that in a little bit again. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So we've got a chain three and then three trebles. You're going to continue with your trebles into the centre circle until you have 11 trebles in total plus that chain one, which is counting as a treble, so technically it will be 12 trebles in total. So go ahead, pause the video, work those trebles and meet me back at the end of round one and I'll show you how to move on to round two. So I have now done those 11 treble crochets plus my chain three and what I'm going to do is go ahead and insert my crochet hook into the third chain from the bottom of that chain three and do a slip stitch and this is just going to connect the first to the last stitch together. I'm then going to take my loose end and pull on that uh, magic circle and it will just cinch in the middle like so. So now we want to go ahead and tie off this yarn. So you want to yarn over and pull through, take your scissors and snip off your yarn. And then pull that out. And we're going to go ahead and attach our colour B. So I have my colour B, I'm going to go ahead and take my crochet hook and I'm going to insert it into the top of the last stitch and pull that through. And you can use whichever style of attachment you prefer, but I like to go ahead and just put a knot in there. And then we're going to go ahead and chain three. So I'm going to get my hands into position, I'm going to insert my crochet hook, and I'm going to begin by pulling through and chaining three. One, two, and three. So as I said previously, that is going to class as a treble crochet and I'm going to do another treble crochet into that very same space. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, 
yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. This round is going to be pretty simple. What you're going to do is just simply do two treble crochets into each stitch all the way around. So go ahead and do your treble into the next stitch and then another one into that very same stitch. Move across into the next stitch and do two treble crochets, one and two. Pause the video, work your way all the way around till you get to your last treble crochet. So you will have 24 in total, including the chain three. Meet me back and I'll show you how to move on to round three. So I have just done all of my stitches. I am back to my chain three at the beginning and I'm going to slip stitch into the third chain from the bottom to join the round. And then for round three, we're going to pretty much do exactly the same. We're going to chain three, which is going to count as a treble. Remember, I'm working in UK terms. In the US, that's a double crochet. And I'm going to do another treble crochet into that um, stitch. And then I'm going to do two trebles into every treble all the way around. And then this time, we will have 48 stitches all together for this round. So two stitches into the next stitch and then two stitches into the next stitch. Go ahead, pause the video, work your way all the way round and I'll meet you back in just a moment. So I have worked my way all the way round. I have counted my stitches, including this chain three, and I have 48 all together. So I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into the third chain from the bottom of my chain three from the beginning. And that completes my round three. So now we're on to round four. I'm going to go ahead and chain one. This does not count as a stitch. So now you're going to do a double crochet into the same space. So a double crochet is a UK term. In the US, this is known as a single crochet. Insert your hook into that same space, grab the yarn and pull it through, and you'll have two loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook. Now what we're going to do is miss three stitches. So one, two, and three and we're going to do some treble crochets to form the ear. So we've missed three here and this is the fourth one along and we're going to do 13 treble crochets in there. So yarn over and insert into that fourth um, stitch, yarn over, pull through, you'll have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two and yarn over, pull through two. That's one and we're going to do 13 in that very same space all together. So what will happen is as you're doing your stitches you'll make a uh, like a rainbow shape. So I've just done one, two, three, four and here's my fifth one. Go ahead, pause the video, work 13 trebles all in that same space and meet me back once you have done. So I have done my 13 trebles. I'm going to skip three stitches. So if I just pull it across here, see our first one, one, two, three. And I'm going to double crochet into each of the next seven stitches. So this is the first one just here. So insert the yarn, pull through, yarn over pull through two. So that just anchors the ear down and that is my first of the seven. And then we're going to do six more. So one, two, excuse my, uh, uh, not just here, I accidentally um, tied off the yarn without automatically without thinking about it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. So we have our ear, our seven double crochets and then we're ready to do the ear again. So we're going to skip three stitches, one, two, three and in the fourth do 13 treble crochets. So this is the first one. Try not to pull too tight on the yarn for this first one. That's one, two, and three, go ahead, pause the video, 
work your way till you have 30 in treble crochets and then meet me back once you are ready. Okay so I have just done my other teddy ear, I am going to skip three stitches so I'm going to pull this to one side so that I can see that first stitch, one, two, three and then I'm going to do a double crochet into this next one, so the fourth stitch along and then I'm going to chain one and snip off my yarn. And then there you have the teddy ears. So for the next round we're going to take colour C which is the cream colour yarn. Okay so for round five we're going to take our colour C and join to the first treble. So that's the first treble of the first ear. So we're going to go ahead and find that first treble which is just here. I'm going to connect my colour so insert my hook into there and pull, pull that colour through. So as before, I'm going to tie a knot in here, but you can change your colour in whichever method you prefer. And then we're going to go ahead and insert our hook again, pull that yarn through and start off by chaining four. One, two, three and four. And that is going to count as a treble and a chain one. So what we're going to do here is we're going to miss two stitches, one and two, and then the third stitch we're going to do a half treble. So that's yarn over, insert into that third stitch along, yarn over, pull through, you'll have three loops on the hook, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. We're going to chain one, miss two stitches, one, two, and into this next stitch we're going to create a corner. So we're going to yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through and then we're going to pull through all three for a half treble. To create the corner we're going to chain two, one and two and then do another half treble into that very same space. So there we have just created that corner section where our ear is. We're going to chain one again, skip two stitches and do a half treble into that next stitch. And we're going to chain one and then we're going to miss two stitches and then do a treble into what should be the last of that ear, so the other side of the ear. So we'll do treble and we're going to do that four times in total. So that's our first treble, chain one, skip two stitches, one, two, and then do a treble into that third one. Chain one, skip two stitches and do a treble. And then chain one, skip two stitches and then you should be in the ear again. So now we're ready to go around the ear and we're just going to basically do um, what we've done in this ear. So we're going to chain one, skip two stitches, do a half treble crochet, chain one, skip two stitches and then do a half treble crochet, a chain two and a half treble and that's created the corner and that's what your top section should look like. We're going to chain one again, skip two stitches and then do a half treble into that next stitch. Now we're going to start to work down this edge so what we want to do here is chain one, skip two stitches and then do a treble crochet into the next stitch, chain one, miss one stitch and then do a treble into the next stitch and you're going to do that three times in total so chain another, skip one into the next stitch and then once more, chain one, skip one 
into the next stitch. So down this edge here we have uh, the stitches going around the ear and then we have one, two, three, four and now we're ready to do the corner again. So for the corner we're going to chain one, we're going to miss a stitch and then we're going to do a double treble. So in the US this is known as a treble. So yarn over the hook twice, insert into that next stitch after you've skipped one, yarn over, pull through, you'll have four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over, pull through two loops. The reason why we're doing that is because it's a longer stitch because we want to make this into a square. We're going to chain two again to make the corner and then do another double treble into that same space. So yarn over the hook twice, insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, you'll have four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So now we're along the bottom edge of the square, and what we're going to do is chain two, one and two. We're going to miss a stitch, and then we're going to do a treble into that next stitch over. and then we're going to do a pattern repeat. So we're going to chain one, miss a stitch, and treble. I'm going to do this four times in total, so that's the first one. Chain one, miss a stitch, and treble. That's two. Chain one, miss a stitch, and treble. That's three. Chain one, miss a stitch and treble, that is four. We're then going to start working our corner, so we're going to chain two, miss a stitch, and then we're going to do our double treble, our chain two, and our double treble all into that corner stitch. So yarn over the hook twice, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two, chain two, and then double treble into that same space. So we have just worked our corner again. So now we're going to finish off the next side. So we're going to chain two, miss a stitch, and then treble into the next stitch after that. Chain one, miss a stitch and treble. Chain one, miss a stitch and treble. Chain one and then we're going to slip stitch into the third chain from the bottom of this chain four from the previous row. So one, two, and three. Slip stitch into that third chain. Run over and pull through all of the loops. And then you want to fasten off your yarn by chaining one and snipping off your yarn. So now what we have done after that round is created a square base for our next two rounds, which is using um, the main colour, which is going to be my blue colour. So we're going to attach this colour into the first chain space after where we've just tied off. Um, again, as before, I'm going to do this with a knot. You can do that however you please. And I'm going to start off by chaining three one, two, and three. I'm going to do a treble into that same chain space. And then two trebles into the next chain space. One, and two. This now brings us to the corner, so we're going to do a treble. A chain three, one, two, and three, 
and a treble all into that same corner to continue that corner shape. We're then going to continue all the way along this edge until we reach the other corner by doing two treble crochets into each chain space. So one and two and move over one and two. So go ahead, pause the video, work your way along the edge until you get to this chain two space and meet me back and I'll show you what to do at that point. So I've just worked my way along that edge and I've reached the corner again. I'm going to do a treble, a chain three, one, two, three, and a treble. So that is what we do in the corners. And then we're going to continue by doing two treble crochets into each chain space. And then in the corners do a treble, a chain three and a treble. So go ahead, pause the video, work your way all the way around until you get to your last chain space. Meet me back and I'll show you what to do to finish off this round and move on to the next. So I have worked my way all the way round and I have just done my last two trebles into the last chain space. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three um, at the beginning of the round. And then I'm going to go ahead and start my round seven with the same colour. You're going to chain three, one, two, three, and this round is super, super easy. You're simply going to do one treble crochet into each of the trebles from the previous round. So you can work your way to the corner here. Just a few more to get to till we get to the corner chain space. So your corner chain space will be that chain three space. What we're going to do in here is do two treble crochets into that space, chain two, and then a further two treble crochets into that same chain space. And that again is going to keep that corner nice and square. And then we move back into working into the tops of our treble crochets. So you're simply going to do one treble crochet into each of the treble crochets from the previous row. When you get to your corner, you're going to do two treble crochets, chain two and two treble crochets. Pause the video, I'll leave the instructions on the screen just here. Meet me back once you've got to your last treble crochet and I shall show you how to finish it off and add the final details to the bear. So I have just worked my way all the way around and I'm going to do my slip stitch into the third chain or the top of the chain three from the beginning of the round. So just slip stitch into there and now we're ready to chain one and tie off. So this is what your square is looking like. You will probably wish to block your square so you can get something um, like the children's play mats are actually really good for this and you can pin each of the corners just to block your square. Um, for this particular pattern you are going to make four of these to make your cushion cover so you can block all of them to the same size. Now all that we need to do is actually just add the eyes onto the teddy bear and we're going to use that by using colour A which is the same colour as the nose. Okay, so for the eyes, we want to position these in the second or the mid row between the first and second rows, so this line just here. You want to look at where the ears are, and we're just going to come in slightly from those ears. So I have just threaded up my needle, and I'm just going to simply do some back stitch with this colour. So I'm going to pull that through. I'm going to leave a bit of an end actually and then sew that in again after. So pulling it through and pull it through. I'm just going to do that twice because I don't want it to be too big. 
and I'm actually going to bring through my crochet hook and bring this through to the back so that I can sew that in afterwards. So that is that there. I am going to just be extra secure with this and put a knot in there and snip off my yarn. And then I'm going to move across into the other one as well. So I'm going to try and make this as symmetrical as I can. So I've gone into the top of this stitch, which is slightly over from the ear. So I'm going to go ahead and do exactly the same with this one here. I'm going to pull that through, leaving an end and come through and go through to the back. So feel free to have a play around with the eyes and do it however you feel is necessary. Um, but I quite like them like that. Okay, so the last thing to do is to deal with these ends. So I'm going to thread up my darning needle. So the, I'm going to start from the beginning and I'm going to give that end a little bit of a pull just because that was the magic circle from the, pre, uh, from the very beginning. And I'm going to go around that magic circle again, just weaving my needle in and out of the yarn. And then I'm going to go back the opposite way. and then back the opposite way again. So trying to catch different fibres of the yarn. Once you've gone back and forth three times, that makes it pretty secure. So you can go ahead and snip that off close to the work. And then you can go ahead and do exactly the same with the rest of your loose ends. So here we have the finished Teddy Granny Square and it is super, super cute and fun. I really hope that you have fun making this one. And don't forget that you can get the written pattern for this in Your Crochet and Knitting Magazine issue eight. I will leave a link in the description box of where you can find that. And don't forget it's absolutely packed full of other makes as well. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with all of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye!